Hello again, Robert Mitchell, Strategic Security Engineer at GitLab. I'm here with Usha. Hi everyone, it's Usha Swaminathan here again from the compliance team. Um, in this video, uh, we're going to be talking about Okta dashboard customization. Rob, up to you. So this is the view that you get when you first uh, see the dashboard. Uh, and there's a few things that uh, that you can do to tweak and optimize this. The whole idea is that this dashboard is supposed to be easy to use and it's supposed to be making your life easier as far as using the, the many cloud applications that we have. So I just wanted to show a few features about how you can organize these applications and how you can find a little bit more information out. So one thing you'll notice with some of these applications, notice how there's these little uh, dialog boxes on, on them. If you actually click on the settings information, the app notes, the app notes here will actually tell you what the application is. So in this case, Moo is actually a business card. Oh, reader. now I remember, Rob. No <laughs> wonder I don't have a business card, Rob. Now I realize that. <laughs> <laughs> so now you know how you can get your business card set up. Um, oh similarly it. for uh, something like Culture Amp, for example. If you click on the, the little icon there, the app notes will tell you that that's our employee 360 review portal. So that's a useful thing to know when you're seeing all of these, and some of these might, you might be seeing for the very first time, um, that uh, you know that that's, that's what they do. Now, unlike you, Usha, I've actually ordered my business cards. So the odds for me oh. needing to use Moo again is wow. not likely, not for a while. I mean, it'll take me a while to go through all the business cards that I got. So one of the things <laughs> that you can do to optimize the, the setup of your dashboard is use tabs. So you'll see there's this plus button here. If you click on this plus button, you can create a new tab. And let's say, we, let's say that we want to create a tab for um, things that we don't use often. So let's just call it unused. If we save that, okay. um, we can now create an additional tab and my Moo, after I've registered my business cards, I'm probably not going to need it to use it on my normal day to day. It's just clogging up the dashboard. It's making it more hard to see the things that I do use on a day to day basis. So all I need to do is click and drag, drag it up to unused and it then goes into that tab. And my, already you can see that my dashboard is starting to look a little bit cleaner. Um, additionally, you might want to actually do things based on function. So, there's a number of these applications that are related to people ops. So let's create a people ops tab and things along the lines of uh, Bamboo HR, for example, um, yeah. Greenhouse from a recruiting perspective and even our 360 degree review application. If we now put them into people ops, if we know that we're coming in and we need to do something that's in a people ops related area, we can just go to that people ops tab and we've got all of the applications that we need. This just makes things a little bit easier to organize uh, as the number of applications that we need to use grows, the number of uh, you know, tabs that we can set up just makes our life easier, makes it a little bit less clogged. You can set up up to five different tabs along the top here and it's completely up to you how you want to set them up or structure them. So this is with regard to um, tabs, Rob. Now, how do I add new applications? So um, there's a couple of ways that applications can be added. They can be added by an administrator uh, based on your uh, based on your department membership. Um, but we also have a number of apps that are called self-service apps. And if we can see this button up in the top right, there's a button that says Add Apps. So if we click on that it shows us a set of apps that are managed by GitLab. And these are all apps that you can request. So if you know, for example, that you need to have access to Chorus um, and you've been told about it, but it's not appearing on your screen, you can have a look in the apps that are managed here and you can click a request tab here. The request tab here will tell you Chorus is a recording tool for meetings. Uh, JJ Cords is the approver. Uh, all, all GitLabbers can request a listener account with justification and put your information in here, yep. hit the request app and that will set up the process that will start that request process. You may need to supplement okay. this with an access request um, and you know, talk to your manager about how the setup process for that works. But from the Okta perspective, yes. it's pretty easy to set these things up. Okay, so the comments can be, the comment section doesn't necessarily go 
goes to my manager. It's actually going to the owner of the app, right? That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Okay. So, uh, also, Rob, I would uh, like to know how do you actually add the bookmark? Okay. So, if you go through the add app section and you can't see the apps managed by GitLab, uh, the application that you're looking for, or you want to add a personal app. Let's say, for example, that you wanted to add your Facebook login, for example. You can do a search here. Okay. For, so let's say we search for Facebook. Facebook has an app already built. So we can click on add. That will actually add Facebook as an application. When we go back to your home, you'll see Facebook is there as an application. You can put your username and your password in, and it can actually be used as a, a method for signing into Facebook. Okay. Right. Um, let's say that you'll let's say that we tried adding another app. Um, so I use Hushmail as a, as an email application. Let's say I wanted to use that. Now, if I go and search for Hushmail, it tells me that there's no applications found that match that, but it gives me this option to add a bookmark instead. So what that allows me to do is I can put the sign in URL for Hushmail. Okay. Uh, and then I can call it Hushmail. Um, and then I can add that. Now, what that will do, if I go back to my home page, is I will see uh, this application here called Hushmail, and it'll just bring up the uh, application in, in URL. The so okay. again, an, an, another way that you can arrange the relevant sites that you need to go to. Oh, that's that's pretty neat. I love that. Okay. Um, there'll be up there. There'll be other other things that we can do with this dashboard. This dashboard will receive a redesign at the end of the year. Um, but if you have any questions, please feel free to hit us up on the Slack channel, Okta. And, um, and ask us if there's anything else that we can do to optimize this. Yep. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.